Hey everybody, I wanna talk about handlebar setup for our dirt bikes. A lot of people get a new bike and then they just go out and ride the thing and there's a lot of things that I do to set up bikes, sometimes more than others, but handlebar setup is a critical thing that I do to every single one of my bikes. So today we're in this video, we're gonna talk about six things that I do to each one of my handlebars to set me up for success and to make sure I'm not having trouble out there on the trail or out on the track. Let's go into it and see what they are. The first thing I wanna call out is the bar position in relation to the triple clamps here, whether it's forward or back. Now, a lot of dirt bikes will have either multiple holes here in the triple clamp that you can move the bar forward or back, or on this particular one, you just can basically flip this mount around. And so the way that the bike came stock, the, the handlebars were shifted more towards the rear. I like to try to shift my handlebars so that they're about as in line with my forks as they can be. So I turned these mounts around, like pulled the bolts out and then flipped the mount around to move these handlebars so that they're more in line with the center line of my forks. I like doing that on my bikes. Uh, depends on how tall you are, and this is a total feel thing, but that's how I found on most of the bikes I'm more comfortable is if I can get these bars a little bit more forward. I don't always put the bikes, the bars as far forward as they can go, depending on which bike it is. Uh, some bikes have five, six, you know, six positions or something. This bike really only has two positions with the way that this is uh, set up, and I moved it to the forward position to get it to be centered over my forks as much as I can. The next thing is bar rotation. If you loosen these uh, mounts on your handlebars, you can, you can pivot the bar forward and back. Now a lot of bars and mounts will have some like marking points here to kind of see where you're at to make sure that you get the bar centered uh, left to right and also that you can gauge where you're at as far as forward to back. Now each handlebar has a different sweep. What I typically like to do is be somewhere in the neutral position. On a lot of these KTMs I've been liking to roll my handlebars forward just a touch which brings my hands and my feet, because as these, as, as these bars roll, roll forward, it takes my hands and my feet and moves them just a little bit further apart, which makes it more comfortable for me. So I'm just barely rotated forward with these typically on the KTMs. Some, some of the Yamahas and Hondas, I'm more in the neutral position, but in the KTMs, I'm more rotated forward just a little bit. So that's the next thing that I would do is get my rotation where I want. And this is something that you can try out on the trail. One of my favorite way, favorite things to try is if I get out on the trail, I'm not really liking what I feel, loosen these, roll it either forward or back, tighten it back down, and then go for another ride, you know, another burn and just see, see if it made it better or worse. Next thing I wanna cover is lever position. And that is how far the lever is moved in or out on the bar. Now, you can see I've moved all of this stuff in towards the inside of my bars. I've actually moved this over about two inches from where, it, from where it was. Now, the reason why I've moved it over so far is look at this. See when I pull this, this uh, lever in, look how far away from the end of the bar it is. That means I'm not gonna break this lever hardly ever because the first thing to come in contact with the ground is gonna be the end of my bar, not my lever. It's gonna be very hard for the lever to actually take the brunt force of any impact. So I will move that over, typically where this bend here basically just starts to come in contact with my grip here. You can see how it's moving the grip. That's pretty much where I will put all of my levers. Now you can move it over just even a little bit more, but this is pretty much a, a good spot for where I go. The other thing I've done here is I've applied some Teflon tape direct around the bar, directly under this clutch perch, and that makes it so that I can tighten this down just to the appropriate amount where it won't move it on its own, but I can move it up and down with just a little bit of pressure. So I can get it exactly in the spot that I want, and then it has enough stiction to stay in place, but enough like turnability to be able to move out of the way if you do take a digger. And that's where the Teflon, tapes, Teflon tape comes in. You do the combination of moving this lever inward and putting Teflon tape under that perch, and I can't even remember the last time I broke one of these things with that combination. Next, we wanna talk about lever rotation, and that's how far up or down this is. Now, I'm just gonna swing a leg over the bike, just like that. Now, this is gonna be different for everybody, but what I want is I want my lever to be just under parallel. I don't want it to be too high, I don't want it to be up here, but I also don't want it to be too low. I know a lot of the time I'm gonna be standing up on the bike, and so I want something that, feel, that feels good to me. Um, and this is just, it's gonna be a feel thing for different people, but this is pretty much where I want mine, and I want it to be the same on every bike. 
Now, the reason why I like the Teflon tape under there is I can come like this and I can just bump that if I want to, bump that up or bump that down. If this is too loose or too tight, I can adjust that with my trail tools. And I do it the same on both sides and just get a really nice uniform feel. Okay, let's talk about bar ends for just a second. On this bike, I actually went with some off-grid syndicate threaded bar ends. Uh, so it actually, I had to actually tap um, into the end of the bar and then thread these in. These are pretty cool. Another one that I've used more often than anything are these Cycra Grip Armor bar ends. Um, they just basically go inside your bar using tension uh, with, this little, with this little tension adjuster here. But these are plastic. It's a plastic uh, thing on the outside. But this basically helps so that you don't destroy your grips every time you lay the bike over. I, dump, I dumped one of my bikes over here recently that didn't have these installed and it just trashed my grips right off the bat. If you put a bar end on your bike though, these, these types of things, you can actually get away with a lot of diggers and a lot of like, you know, tip overs and stuff and save your levers and not have to be just replacing them all the time. So I like doing that to my handlebars. Now as far as installing bar ends, you can actually punch these things out with a punch. Uh, Rocky Mountain ATV Tusk makes a, a, a grip, a bar end cutter tool or I mean a grip cutter tool, or you can look for an open-ended grip and these are super clean. So a lot of times I just buy the open-ended grips from ODI uh, like that. And then these bar, then the bar ends just easily go, you know, easily install just like that. But you can, you can do it either way. You can either punch this out um, or you can get the open-ended grip and then put the bar ends on. It's a little bit extra to set things up, but then it just makes your grips and everything last so much longer and be, and be so much nicer. So there you have it. There are six quick tips to set your handlebars up for success. If you wanna support what we're doing here, probably the best way to do it is to use my links for Rocky Mountain ATV. It's down in the video description or it's over on my website, dirtbikechannel.com. I buy almost everything for my dirt bikes from Rocky Mountain ATV, including these Cycra Grip Armor bar ends here. I buy those by like the hundred, I swear. Um, but that would really, really help. Also, if you're watching this in the month of December in 2022, um, I have a sweepstakes bike that is just like, this is a 250XC, but I'm giving away a 300XC, a 2023 300XC. Uh, check that out on my website or click the link down in the description. I'm also giving away a 300XCW. So I'm giving away two bikes to people in the month of December. And all you have to do to get entered is go to my website, dirtbikechannel.com, buy yourself like a shirt, like I've got right here, or I've got hats and tie downs and a lot of other stuff. Or you can use my links to Rocky Mountain ATV and that gives you free entries for every order and free entries into the sweepstakes for every order that you place with them. Doesn't cost you anything, so it couldn't be much better. So anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys and uh, until next time, leave a single track.